Welcome. As promised, uh, we wanted to also talk about what, uh, how, do, how a vector is multiplied with one another. The first way of multiplying vectors with one another is what we call the dot product. Uh, the dot product, or sometimes called a scalar product. Don't confuse this with scalar multiplication of vectors, um, or multiplying a, a vector with a scalar, but think of this as a, uh, as a different, this is two vectors being multiplied together, and we will see what it means. So, if we have two vectors, vector A and vector B, let's suppose we could still draw the vectors, we have them over here, vector A and vector, I don't know, vector, let's say vector A and vector B, and the angle between these two vectors is angle alpha, then the definition of a scalar, sorry, of a dot product is as follows, is that the dot product between vector A and vector B, notice here I have a dot, because the thing on the left is a vector and the thing on the right is a vector, this should already trigger that we are not going to perform regular multiplication. These are not numbers, but these are vectors. And the way we multiply two vectors by means of a dot product is by first taking the magnitude of the first vector A and multiplying it with the magnitude of the second vector B times cosine of the angle between these two vectors when these two vectors are attached tail to tail. So when we attach these vectors, vector A and vector B, tail to tail, and the angle that separates them is the angle that makes it into this equation. That's what this alpha is. And I say this is definition. This is a, a definition of how you, you perform the dot product. Okay, um, so maybe let's uh, grab an example, uh, or maybe use an example. Uh, suppose the magnitude of vector A was 2 units, and that of B was, uh, I don't know, 0.5, and the angle between them, let's say alpha, was 40, let's say 45. Then the dot product between vector A and vector B would simply be given by this. It would be A dot B, the magnitude of the first, which is vector uh, of vector A, that is 2, multiplied by the magnitude of the second vector, which is 0.5, times cosine of 45. This is how we would compute this. And cosine of 45, I believe that's 1 over root 2. So we would end up with 1 over root 2, because these two will cancel out. So the dot product of these specific two vectors would be given by this. The meaning of it right now, we cannot describe, but we will um, have another video where we'll we talk about it. So hang on, uh, hang on for a second now, and we will get to it shortly. So notice... The way I composed, or the way I multiply these two vectors, was that I was given the magnitude of the vectors, and I was given the angle that separates them. What do I do if I am given vector A and vector B, however they are in unit vector notation? How do I find the dot product? Well, let's talk about this theoretically. Let's talk about what it means. Maybe before we get there, Let's consider some, some scalar products, or maybe some dot products of special vectors. Let's consider the dot products of unit vectors first. Dot products uh, of unit vectors. So, <clears throat> we start off with i hat dot i hat. What will this look like? Remember, the i hat vector is a vector that points in the x direction. So here's our x direction, and here's our y direction. So a vector that points in the x direction is what we call i hat, and its magnitude is 1. So using the definition of a dot product, we have to take the magnitude of the first, 
multiply with the magnitude of the second vector times cosine of the angle between these two. Let's first establish two vectors, both of them point in the x direction. The angle between them is zero. So we are ready. The dot product of i hat with i hat is going to be the magnitude of i hat times the magnitude of i hat times cosine of the angle between them, which we just established was zero. So therefore, we have uh, the magnitude of i hat times the magnitude of i hat. The cosine of zero is actually equal to one. So this is what we would have left. But remember, these things are unit vectors. i hat is a unit vector, hence its magnitude is one. So the, this thing is equal to 1, and that thing is equal to 1. So what we end up with is, this is 1. So, this is always true. That when you find the dot product of i hat with i hat, you will always get 1. And the same is true for j hat with j hat. Remember, j hat is a unit vector that points in the positive y direction. So here we have two vectors, both of which point in the positive y direction, and they have magnitude 1. So let's go ahead and write this down from definition. This is going to be j hat times j hat times cosine of the angle between them, which we just established was 0. So we will be left with uh, the magnitude of j hat uh, times the magnitude of j hat, and the cosine of 0 is 1. And again, this is j hat. The magnitude of j hat, by definition, is 1 because it's a unit vector. So we're going to end up with just 1. And you might imagine, and you can try to convince yourself, the same is true for k hat dot k hat. You can check that this is 1. This I'll leave as your exercise, um, which you can run by me if you, if you run into problems. But now, let's consider what happens if you have i hat dot j hat. Well, let's faithfully return to the definition. The definition says the dot product of two vectors is going to be the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second times cosine of the angle between them. So this will look like something, will look something like this. i hat j hat times cosine of the angle between these two vectors. Of course, right now, we have two different vectors. It's no longer i hat with i hat or j hat with j hat, but it's i hat with j hat. Let's consider what the angle between them is. i hat points in the x direction, while j hat points in the y direction. So what is the angle between these two guys? It's 90. So we faithfully substitute what this will be. Cosine of 90 is 0 which means the dot product of i hat with j hat is going to be 0.